For 57 years, Ron Keller directed the Naperville Municipal Band, promoting a music culture that was audience-centered and mentoring the next generation of musicians. He will forever be remembered for his lifelong commitment to bringing music to the community. Since his early days on Ellsworth Street, Ron Keller was rooted within the Naperville Municipal Band. His great-grandfather, Joseph Babst, was the director in the 1870s and 1880s. His mother and father were also longtime members of the group. But Ron's personal connection to music started when he was just two years old. In the afternoons, he and his aunt would go on walks around the neighborhood. One day, he caught sight of a sousaphone that was in a garage and knew he'd found his instrument. So they brought a sousaphone from the high school over to Ellsworth School and they marched me up and down the grade school gym and Mr. Kerner and my dad were sitting there and kind of, my dad says, too heavy, isn't it? You, too heavy, you can't carry it. Oh yeah, I can carry it, it's not that, I can carry it. I think the horn weighed as much as I did. Playing it would also prove to be challenging. Finally, Mr. Kerner said, well, let's put a mouthpiece in and see if he could blow it. So he put a mouthpiece in and I let loose with a womp that scared pigeons and everybody laughed. <laughs> and then my dad said, well, he can blow it. I guess he's going to play. Since elementary school, Ron dreamed of leading the Naperville Municipal Band, but would have to earn his way. In 1951, he became the fifth generation of the Keller family to join the group performing as a soloist in junior high school and becoming part of the group's tuba section. While his mentor, Elmer Kerner, was leading the Naperville Municipal Band, Ron was a student at Northern Illinois University, not only in the marching band, but also leading it. During this time, the Naperville native would return to Central Park to play with the Municipal Band. In the summer of 1962, he would have to temporarily step up as Kerner suffered a heart attack while directing a concert. That set the stage for Ron to take the baton permanently in 1966. As the new director, Ron led the march as an audience-focused band, playing what the community wished to hear. He was assisted by his childhood friend, Ann Lord, the mistress of ceremonies. Lord has been the band's moderator for 65 years, helping Ron shape the band into what it is today. You've worked all day, let's say. You've come to just to relax, listen to good music, well played, which it is. I think they enjoy that. It's just kind of sit back and relax and enjoy the music, which is what they do. Each year, the band's highly anticipated concert is the 4th of July performance, a Naperville tradition since 1977. Its highlight is the 1812 Overture, featuring local church bells and cannons. This request came from former Naperville Mayor Chester Rybicki. He came up to me after a uh, concert one night and he said, you know, I've never heard the band play the 1812 Overture. It's one of my favorite pieces. And I said, well, Chet, we can play it. It's just that to do it, you've got to have cannons. So the next day, he calls me at my office in Jefferson. He said, I have four 105 howitzers. What time do we want them and where? It continues to be one of the most attended performances of the summer. It is with great joy and a touch of melancholy that we gather today to recognize the remarkable achievements and lifelong dedication of Ron Keller, who is retiring from the Naperville Municipal Band after an incredible 71 years of service. Wrapping up decades of leading the group, Ron performed his last concert as the director of the Naperville Municipal Band on August 10, 2023. After the performance, he passed the baton to Emily Binder, one of his former tuba students. They first connected in her freshman year at Wabonzi Valley High School. Sure enough, in a private lesson, at one point, Ron said, do you want to come to band? I said, oh my gosh, yes. And uh, it was incredible and terrifying all at the same time. She went on to become the assistant director before eventually taking over the full responsibility. Binder hopes to continue honoring what her mentor had built for years. Rare is the person that stays in that kind of long-term, deeply rooted connection and, and relationship um, for that. So that devotion has changed the lives of thousands of people whether it was in the classroom, whether it's here in the community center, 
Uh, he's, he's just been incredibly devoted to serving. On August 15th, 2023, a few days after retiring, Ron was honored for his service by the Naperville City Council. They presented him with a sign to rename Central Park Road as Ron Keller Commemorative Way. They, they always said, when you go out, go out on top, and that's what I'm doing. I'm going out on top. Thank you all very much. Ron Keller was a leader, mentor, and friend, not only admired by those around him, but by many in the community. He'll be remembered for over 70 years of making music with the Naperville Municipal Band, leading it toward growth and mentoring the next generation of musicians for 57 of those years. But his wish was for the community to continue enjoying what he and many before him helped shape. I hope Naperville realizes what they have here because it's very special. For Naperville News 17, I'm Kim Pierce.